The intake manifold is in charge of distributing air into the engine cylinders precisely so optimal combustion occurs. Consequently, this part significantly impacts how well your car's engine runs. Unfortunately, the intake manifold can malfunction occasionally. What would happen though and how much would it cost to fix if that happened? In this video, we will discuss the most common symptoms of a bad intake manifold and how much it costs to replace or fix. It's the Car Problems YouTube channel. Subscribe and let's get started. Misfires. An excess of air compared to fuel will enter the combustion chamber when there is a crack or coolant leak in the intake manifold. Misfires, which occur when the combustion process is interrupted and is not finished, will follow from this. An internal crack in the manifold or around its gasket may also be the source of the coolant in the cylinder. Use the scan tool to find the source of the problem in case you experience misfires. Loss in engine performance. The fuel-to-air ratio is impacted when the intake manifold fails. Any change in this correlation is crucial for effective combustion and will have an impact on how much fuel your car uses. It will require more frequent fuel tank refills and burn through more gasoline. In addition, you'll sense that the engine might be stuttering and that your car is not accelerating as it should. So, if you feel a loss of performance, check for leaks in the intake manifold. Engine overheating. The engine overheats first because of the coolant loss. If the intake manifold cracks and allows coolant to spill into the combustion chamber or engine bay, when the temperature gauge on your dashboard rises while you are driving, you will notice this. It is best to see a mechanic right away because an overheated engine has the potential to seize up and stop functioning entirely. Regularly checking the coolant level in the engine bay is the best way to find this. It's time to look for coolant leaks if you see that it has started to gradually drop. Rough idle. As we mentioned above, the air fuel mixture will deteriorate due to a malfunctioning or fractured intake manifold. Rough idle can also be caused by an improper air fuel mixture. Because it must operate flawlessly to maintain a constant RPM, the engine is prone to issues while it is idle. For this reason, if you feel rough idle, you'll probably notice an intake manifold issue first. External coolant leaks. Coolant may begin to leak out of the engine bay if the intake manifold has an internal crack or an issue close to the intake manifold gasket. So if your car has a pool of coolant underneath it after spending the night in the garage, it's time to look for leaks near the intake manifold. Keep in mind that leaks frequently originate beneath the intake manifold, which can be very challenging to locate. Check engine light. While you are driving, the engine control unit continuously monitors the sensors in your car. If any of the sensors send values that differ from the preset ones, the check engine light will come on your dashboard. The air fuel mixture will be different from what it should be if your intake manifold is damaged, which will cause the check engine light to illuminate on your dash. To proceed with the troubleshooting, you must read a trouble code that is stored in the engine control unit when the check engine light appears. Replacement cost. The typical cost to replace an intake manifold ranges from $300 to $1,100 depending on the type of vehicle and labor costs. Labor costs range from $100 to $500 and the cost of an intake manifold is $200 to $600. The cost varies significantly based on the engine and model of your vehicle. It also depends on whether you want aftermarket or OEM components. Because intake manifolds are usually expensive, you can usually find used ones if you're looking for something a little bit less expensive. Most commonly, the intake manifold is made of iron, and not many things can go wrong with it. However, some intake manifolds, particularly those on more recent models of cars, have flaps inside of them, in which case the intake manifold needs to be entirely replaced. If you want to replace the part yourself and have some basic knowledge, it usually takes one to two hours. However, in European cars, some manifolds have flaps that require programming after replacement. Hope the information was helpful for you. If so, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel. 